10 4 Battalion 1 4. We started at the, uh, the Hazmat Response Group Engine 4 1 for the Hazmat Tech Unit. My name is Captain Robert Morris. I'm the captain of Rescue Company Number 1 in New York City, and we're in the back kitchen of Rescue 1. This is where we spend some time going over scenarios, drills. We have a lot of things up on the walls here, as you can see. What we do is we'll put pictures of former members, but most of the time it's either at a job or at an operation, something that was you know, either a memorable job or maybe an emergency. About every 10 years we take a picture of the company just to kind of reflect back on the guys who came before us and appreciate all the knowledge and tradition they passed down. The 2000 photo, basically it was the company pretty much right before September 11. You know, Captain Hatton, he had just recently gotten the spot here and Lieutenant Mojica, and if you go down the line, there's a lot of guys that were lost that day. We have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Battalion 1 to Manhattan. Battalion 1. We just had a, a plane crash into Alpha 4 of the World Trade Center, transmit a second alarm, and start relocating companies into the area. It appears that there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, now remember, oh my God. Another explosion at tower number two of the World Trade Center. 1060, send every available ambulance, everything you got to the World Trade Center now. When a fireman says September 11th, they mean only one day. And that's 2001. I remember it every day because certain things that you live through, you just remember every day. Most firehouses that lost members on 9-11, they kept the riding when they stopped. And in our firehouse, when you walk outside right near the apparatus, we kept the old riding list from the morning of September 11th, and we put plexiglass over it, and that's going to stay there. I don't want to ever forget those guys. You know, they made the supreme sacrifice and we're all great guys, all terrific firemen, and you know, we don't ever want to forget that. I think this 15th anniversary, there's a lot of people out there that don't even realize. You know, there's a lot of younger people especially. They don't realize what the country went through. I would just like for people on the 15th anniversary to realize firemen who made the supreme sacrifice on that day.